Greetings Petroheads, welcome back to Automation, the crowd company tycoon game. Uh, last time we looked at the second generation, uh, second generation of the Marina Flare. Today I'm gonna introduce you guys to the Marina Conflagrate. <laughs> Why Conflagrate? What does this thing Conflagrate? Uh, basically it's tires. You see... <laughs> you see people like fictional customers have asked um, Marina to build a four-door car because they want something that you know, you know they want a car for the for the whole family and uh, while still keeping the Marina spirit still keeping the the style and uh, the attitude uh, of this company and uh, yeah this is what they're gonna get It is a small four-door sedan with a steel space frame, double wishbones all around, fiberglass panels, and longitudinal engine placement. You can already see what's in here. So, <laughs> yeah, small car, big engine. Um, it's also like when I was designing this car, I I decided on putting on this lip on on the bottom because. This was this is one of those cars that in real life I would I would slam to the ground. It would be so low it would probably look a lot. It's also it's already pretty low. Like if you imagine the tarmac being like at the bottom of the tires, it would already be pretty low. But I would lower it a little bit more, even still. It would it would make this car look really angry and really just really sporty and. Pretty cool as well with the with the retro styling of this thing. I mean, by today's standards, it's retro. By 1969, it's adequate. Maybe even a little bit, a little bit modern, a little bit fancy, even with the indicators being down there as opposed to somewhere right around the headlights. But that's okay. And also, we have these kind of project projector headlights. If you didn't notice them already. Um, <clears throat> We got some vents on the bonnet, we got a big lip, we got a big main grille, we got a big wing, we got two exhausts, and these tail lights, by the way, they are, um... I, I was looking at TVRs from the 60s, late 60s, and they had these, they had such a longitudinal tail lights already with chrome around them, as opposed to, like, round tail lights like everybody else had. So I don't think this would be too futuristic, too fancy for 1969. There were cars that used similar taillights like this. Um, yeah, white arches as well, of course. That's another trademark feature of this car. And uh, yeah, you guessed it. We got the Chevy 302 in here. Again, the same the same tune as in the Flare Mark II, so no differences there. We just took it straight out of that car and put it in here. Uh, what that means, of course, in a light car with less than a thousand kilograms, rear-wheel drive, and the fact that on this body we can't really use wide tires, only 165s, doesn't go any higher. What that means is lots of wheel spin. Oh yeah, 45.9% wheel spin, and that's with the with the locker diff. Without it, we're looking at 57.1%. <laughs> like, if there's one if there's one thing this car would be good at, it's burnouts. <laughs> um, we do have some some downforce going on in this thing. Uh, so it would actually handle really damn well, even even with these skinny tires. Um, with a five-speed gearbox, one six five sports tires, thirteen-inch rims, so that we can even get to one sixty-fives. Because with the default fifteen-inch rims, would be that like one two fives. <laughs> I don't want to even imagine what. What kind of wheel spin this thing would make with one two five millimeter tires in the rear, and this three o two V eight, like it, it would just, it it wouldn't work. 
Um, no under tray. Plenty of cooling. Sport interior, five, uh, four seats. Maybe a fifth. Uh, maybe a fifth seat is not a bad idea, so we have a little bit more weight over the rear axle. Then again, like, look at how small this car is. How are you gonna fit five people in there unless you put one of them in a trunk? Um, <laughs> no power steering. Standard 60 safety. Gas monotube tube dampers and really low ride height. I really stiffened up the car front and rear quite a lot so that I could make it this low and at least somehow some would pretend that this thing would be pretty close to the ground in real life. Um, yeah. <laughs> Obviously this thing should be quicker if it made less wheel spin of course but it doesn't make less wheel spin, so even with the automatic lock rate, it does 0 to 100 in 6.8 seconds. Which, by today's standards, for a 260 horsepower, 1000 kilogram car is not that good, but, you know, in the, in the late 60s, it, it was... it was amazing. <laughs> and if we go to the quarter mile, it'll probably not beat the flare mark too. Because it just makes too much wheel spin. Yep, way too much wheel spin. Um, I could make the rims even smaller so that I could fit a little bit wider tires. But that would also make the brakes smaller and therefore worse. And we already have brake fade. And we could, of course, do something like this. Which doesn't help. Because the brakes are not fading on the rear, they're only fading on the front. 1.4% brake fade still, that's not too bad. Also, if we if you make the brakes on the rear stronger or more aggressive than or if we make him on the front um, stronger or more aggressive than on the rear that'll give us some nice braking oversteer which is something I very much enjoy in racing games uh, I, I don't know if I'd enjoy it as much in real life if you know you're breaking it into a corner the tail comes around um, but it makes this car more drivable and more <clears throat> excuse excuse me and and more sporty so well it's not bad um with a plus 20 percent markup this is actually more expensive than the flare despite being a smaller car hmm i don't know i don't know why because we're using the exact same engine and, and this being a smaller car and using the same materials and the same engine, it shouldn't be more expensive, in my mind. Well, whatever. Oh, no, we actually have four seats in the in the flare as well. Let's actually see. Five seats. Acceleration time off. 6.7. It does help a little bit. Also helps drivability slightly. So yeah, there you have it, a marina for the whole family. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like or a comment if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.